can you tell us a little bit more about your journey in the field of uh, computer science and uh, you know professorship at you know academia schools and how you became interested in blockchain and zero knowledge proofs in the first place yeah so it's a very strange uh, path that uh, my my life has taken um i went to university studied computer science uh, actually computer science and biology because i wanted to go into neural uh, sciences and neural networks but i ended up uh, being drawn to pure math uh, and theoretical computer science because of the beauty and power of it it was very challenging and interesting so i did uh, a career in uh, theoretical computer science I did a phd under Professor Avi Vigdelson, who got the Abel Prize uh, for 2022, accompanied him to the uh, when he moved over to the Princeton Institute for Advanced Studies. Uh, spent a couple of years there, then did uh, my postdoc um, at MIT and Harvard, and then took a position um, here in Israel and uh, uh, reached the rank of a full professor uh, before I left to found um, Starkware. And uh, all of this career was around like 15 years or so, um, was around very theoretical math. Um, at some point, based on some innovations that um, we started during my postdoctoral research at MIT and Harvard um, about something called uh, PCPs, probabilistically checkable proofs, um, I ended up um, co-inventing a protocol that was very, very efficient. And uh, then I started taking students to implement it and then expanded it to uh, also collaborators, and I got funding for it. And this was all academic research, but it was more practical. It was about implementing stuff. And then uh, the decisive moment for me was um, I was talking and speaking about uh, the potential of this uh, technology in science, and I chanced upon the Bitcoin conference in San Jose in 2013 which is roughly uh, one decade ago. And um, I was blown away um, because blockchain or Web3 was the first place that the general purpose uh, proving systems that I was devising had real usage. And I think thanks to that, uh, I was probably the first to recognize the connection between general purpose uh, scalability and blockchains um, and ever since then, I've been pushing this uh, vision forward um, for the past decade in a variety of ways. 